guys, so I am so excited for this video. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've been like this passionate about something and talking about one of my favorite things in the world. Um, so I'm starting two new things on my channel and I hope you're as excited about them as I am. So one of which being a horror movie controversy. So talking about the controversies either in front of the camera or behind the scenes of certain movies. There are just some movies that are just very controversial um, in certain countries and just in general with their practices and things like that. Um, but I also want to do videos talking about true stories. So movies that are supposedly based off of real life stories and kind of exposing them to see how accurate they really are. Luckily enough, the first movie I chose has both those things. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, I was actually gonna include in like a horror movie controversies video, but I wanted to dedicate a whole video to Texas Chainsaw because for one, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. But it has controversies behind it, but also it's supposedly based on a true story. So I thought we would look into it, see how accurate it really is, and kind of just discuss it from that standpoint instead of like reviewing it. I think I reviewed it actually, because when I was looking up some trivia, it seemed a little familiar, and I normally only do that if I'm reviewing a film. So if I've reviewed it, I will link it. You can watch my whole review. If I did, it's a long time ago, so I, my apologies if it's a terrible review. So first things first, we're gonna talk about how accurate this movie really is, because as we know, it's supposedly based on a true story. Um, it's not so accurate. I mean, it's not accurate at all. Most movies that are based on true stories, just for my personal opinion, are never accurate. If you wanna hear more thoughts about that, you can watch my Ed and Lorraine uh, video, and I talk a little bit more about certain movies that they were behind, and or mo movies that are based on some of their like life stories thing, whatever, investigations. So the number one red flag to me is the director claims that while he was standing in a hardware, se hardware section, <laughs> hardware section of a busy store, like a crowded store, he was thinking how he would get out of the store and then he spotted the chainsaws and that's how he came up with the idea of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Obviously, if this is based on a real true story, that probably wouldn't have inspired him. It would have been the real story, right? There are urban legends that say that the real Texas Chainsaw Massacre happened near, it's like 30 miles outside of San Antonio, Texas, um, but it's false. This movie is not based on any real life Texas Chainsaw event. This movie is actually based on Wisconsin serial killer Ed Gein, which funny enough, he's not actually a serial killer. He only killed two people, which really doesn't, you know, classify you as a serial killer. The reason why this is similar to Texas Chainsaw Massacre is because he did steal body parts from graves, only women, and he would remove their skin and wear it like a dress. He would save body parts in his refrigerator. So obviously if you've seen the movie, there's similar vibes to that because obviously Leatherface has a face of skin and stuff. So in addition to that, the opening narrative of the film claims that the events took place on August 18th of 1973, but that's slightly impossible because filming took place in between July and August of 1973. So if it was inspired by real, inve real events, why would the real events take place after the movie? So that's your answer, not that accurate, slightly based off of Ed Gein, not, it's not based on a real Texas Chainsaw Massacre anything. <laughs> now to some controversies about this film. Uh, first off, the dead animals that they used in the dinner scene are real animals. That bothers me more today than I think it probably would have bothered people back in the 1970s but that really does bother me. Like, where did they get the dead animals? I'm just curious. But beyond that, uh, they also used a real human skeleton because purchasing one from India was cheaper than buying a fake one. Now let's backtrack to the animals again for a second. So this took place, I mean, I mentioned the months July and August of, uh, you know, summertime in Texas. There was a heat wave. Every single day of filming went over 100 degrees. When you have dead animals just in a building, can you imagine the smell? Actually, they used formaldehyde for, I think, some of the animals, and one, the woman who was injecting the formaldehyde actually accidentally injected herself with some formaldehyde. Anyway, the filming conditions were absolutely terrible. Obviously, it was hot every single day. They filmed for 16 hours a day. The guy who played Leatherface was given the shirt that you see in the movie, and because it was dyed, he was not able to wash it, and that was the only shirt they gave him. 
So he had to wear that for over four weeks of filming, 16 hours a day in 100 degree weather. I'm sure he was everyone's favorite to be around Offset. The guy who plays the hitchhiker, who is the best character in the whole movie, that scene of the hitchhiker in the van is 100% like gold to me. That is one of the best scenes I've ever seen acted and I am obsessed with that scene. That scene specifically is what makes me love this movie so much. He said that the filming conditions and everything were so bad, they were worse than his time served in Vietnam, and that if he ever saw the director, he would kill him. I don't know what it was exactly. It could have been the heat that made it extra worse, but I wonder why he hated filming that role so much. Now let's talk about ratings. The director tried to get a PG rating <laughs> because it didn't have a lot of real blood. I mean, there was real blood, which I'll get into. There wasn't a lot of blood or slashing on camera, so he assumed because you didn't see anything, it could get a PG rating. <laughs> Obviously, that's not the case. He settled for an R rating and then released the film. Originally, Britain rejected the film in 1975. However, there was a limited release uh, in certain theaters, and then it was banned again in 1977. They tried cutting it to make it more passable for Britain, and it, they were just unsuccessful, so it was banned. However, 25 years later, they finally just said, you know what, we're gonna release it uncut, so then Britain got it. And then we have Canada, where police officers actually told two movie theaters to pull the film, so they were not able to show it. It is interesting living in America and to see how strict some countries are. I know England and they ban a lot of films that we get and it's like kind of normal for us. <laughs> I don't know. So I mentioned that there was real blood. Actually, the actress who plays the girl who's running from Leatherface actually cut herself in bushes and stuff. And so a lot of the blood that you see on her while she's running is her real blood. And also while she's sitting there on the dinner table, that a lot of that's her real blood. So the actor who played Leatherface wanted to portray his character as having a mental disability. And so in order to do that accurately and not offensively, he went to a school to kind of study their mannerisms, a school for the mentally disabled that is, to study their mannerisms and how they speak and things like that and kind of mimicked them. And he tried to do it as least offensive as possible. And a lot of people agree and say that he did it rather well. So that's a good thing. I feel like that idea can kind of be controversial in itself, but the fact that he tried to be as respectful as possible, and I think pulled it off well as also, uh, I think that makes it not as, you know, controversial. So there you have it. There's a lot more stuff that happened behind the scenes and things like that if you want to look up some of your own, but those are the most interesting points I thought I would talk about in today's video. Let me know if you like this kind of setup where I talk about controversies and how accurate the movie actually is, because I would love to do more of these kind of focused in on one movie, but also, like I said, I'm going to be doing a movie with like, or a movie, a video with like four to five, three to five um, movies that have controversies behind them that aren't necessarily like anything else really to talk about. I hope that that made sense. Anyway, please feel free to leave some requests down below, especially for videos like this that you want me to talk about certain movies. So leave that down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.